Yeah, hi folks, this is Eliza again from photoacademy.eu where I'm working together with my partners Martin and Dirk. Dirk is still on video working while I am on demonstrating over here. And this is um, a short report on tripods and something you should watch out for. Tripods are constructed dif differently and would, what I would like to show you is a um, different difference in the construction of tripods and uh, a personal way of how I am working while being outside. I uh, do work a lot in landscape, um, so a lot outdoors. I do work on animal photography and uh, I go on very long photo walks and usually I take a tripod with me. I have shown you my little uh, travel uh, tripod, traveler tripod, which is um, going on tour in summer. Over here I show you just other tripods and um, a specific way of working with it. Um, taking tripods with me in uh, outdoors, I regard it as uh, necessary because you've got different lighting changes. Well, from sunrise till sundown, the light is changing. You might have very low light. You might need a tripod um, because of this. And for me as well, um, as you can see, I'm very slim. And um, when I carry uh, my backpack for a long time, my hands are shaking. And over here you can see a body with a long tele lens, ranging a zoom lens, ranging from 100 till 400 which I prefer walking, uh, working on uh, with in animal photography, men, but landscape as well. And uh, there is no way after walking for a long time, especially mountains up and down, now holding this in my hands, I would shake too much and the photos turn out to be not sharp. So I prefer taking a tripod with me. However, working outside with the tripod, just this is not my own, I've just uh, borrowed it from Dirk. Okay, let's say I've placed the tripod now. There are different things in landscape. You are watching something, now you want to change the horizon line, for example. What are you going to do? Now you can work with the whole tripod. Yes, you can see it's got three legs. Okay, you can work with the legs, but what I prefer to do, I look through the view, viewfinder now and I'm kicking the legs of the tripod with my own legs, like this. And then I put up the tripod, maybe I use my hand, ah yeah, okay, and I want to be a bit more higher up, okay, yes, there we are, let's say like this. Mind you, um, now the tripod is shaking more, you have to be real calm, but it's always better than just taking the body with such a lens in your hand, okay. Let's say I've got my position, I'm looking through the viewfinder, that's great and I discover something else and I want to change the height. Okay, now just what, what my, watch what my feet are doing. This is my way of working. They are kicking the tripod, well, okay, over here and maybe here because I have to hurry up. Okay, click. So I'm kicking these legs with my own legs in order to slow to um, put down the height of the tripod or just to turn it up a little bit. This kicking or moving with the hands is something you can only do with a tripod being constructed like this, three legs, nothing in between and then this works very quickly. Now I don't want to kick too much Dirk is already looking very concerned about his tripod. Okay, working like this is important when you're looking through the viewfinder and maybe you've got animals outside and you have to react very quickly, you have to get down very quickly and you can do it with your hands, you can do it with your legs, going on like this, kicking down like this or all legs together. You're on your photo subject and kick with the legs the tripod. Now, um, there are other sorts of tripods and let me uh, show you just one, just for comparison. Tripods like these um, exist as well, of all branches, this doesn't matter at the moment. Here you've got a tripod which has got something in between, I don't know the English expression for this now, but as you can see, you cannot move the legs 
any more. There is not any kicking around. And if I want to go um, turn it the height down, looking through my viewfinder, okay, I would be like this and nothing works. And I really, really would sit on this. So maybe it's, uh, it's uh, a little bit more fixed on the position so that you are not shaking. But I dislike this very much. This can be um, up like you can see here this may be a little bit more down but however the legs can't be moved anymore now this isn't only uh, important for animal photography photography as i said or landscape photography especially in landscape photography <coughs> the ground might not be flat so you've got mountains you've got uh, move it moving up a little bit and down a little bit when kicking a tripod now the ground isn't flat and you want to just position your uh, tripod somehow and uh, you can do it like this and you can look through the view find out this is okay no this was a little bit too much you just turn it down turn this up no kicking this down turn this up okay it is um, a little bit more quickly than working with the legs, pushing here and pulling them down or lower them up or lower the legs down. Just using the feet and the hand, hands. And you cannot do it with a tripod which is constructed like this. Now, however you would like to work, just remind, remember one thing. A tripod is something that um, is with you most of the time. It doesn't age. It has got a purpose and you're looking for it. You want to have a specific goal and then you buy a tripod. Watch out whether you like tripods like these ones being fixed where you really have to walk, work with the legs. So this means in landscape especially that you have to work and just look Maybe you put this leg inside a little bit, then you look, then you see, oh, well, no, it's going like this. So you've put a leg, you have to change again. You have put the leg that, um, out a little bit more and you look, no, this doesn't work and this doesn't work. It makes it a little bit more complicated. Well, this is my personal way of working. And don't think um, working with tripods is uh, dynamic working. Working with tripods, you really have to arrange things but as my experience is you arrange things you take shots sort of more slowly but you should be able to have a sort of dynamic workflow even with tripods and um, when the legs are not fixed when you can move them freely even when you're working with the tripod you are a little bit more dynamic and you can react quicker on situations coming up. Okay, my personal experience on working, as I said, don't think I'm kicking like a lunatic. I'm always working through the viewfinder, looking for it. This was it for this time. Hope you've got, uh, you have got some more tips uh, from this. However you like to work, watch out on the construction construction of tripods. So far from now, Anaise from photoacademy.eu. Bye!